Good morning. Today is Saturday, April 27th, 2019. We have just completed week 21 of our keto journey and things are going well. This has been a weird week, but yes, things are going well on the keto. Yeah, very weird week. We'll get into that a little bit more. Um, so when we started our journey on December 1st, 2018, Bill weighed in at 382.6. Uh, we had a little bit of a even keel, lost weight, gained weight. Um, a couple weeks back ago, weeks. <laughs> a couple weeks back ago, about three and a half weeks now, I changed my macros up. I was just playing with some stuff and I gave it a try. I gave it an honest try for about two and a half weeks and uh, it wasn't getting me anywhere. So I went back to the macros I had originally and uh, just before the last weigh-in. And I already yeah. noticed it like two days in before the weigh-in. I'm like, okay, things are feeling more normal. I'm not as hungry. Um, right. I feel like I'm more in balance. And then this week, I experienced that full week of my original macros that yes. I was doing way back. Now, the only thing I had adjusted is the weight, obviously. You don't want to stay with the same macros for 50 pounds <laughs> worth of loss because you're going to be too high on your calories right. and stuff. But uh, I did adjust them back to what I was doing, the balance of the keto that I had originally. And it's starting to pay off again. Yes. So last week, he weighed in at 336.2. And this morning, after his original macros were back into place and working weeks, on those yeah. for the for the full week, he weighed in this morning at three thirty four point four. Over that hump of the three thirties. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting. Well, there. no, I'm still. Yeah, over the hump. Over the, the hump. Middle. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'll be glad to get out of the three thirties. Exactly. I'm ready to say bye bye, Felicia. Exactly. That nope. would be pretty good. So he's down uh, just under two pounds um, from the weigh-in last week and a total of uh, just over 48 pounds for our total. So what was it? 1.8? 1.8 pounds. And then yep. uh, what's my total loss? 48.2. 48.2. Okay. Well, take I'm it. I'm waiting for the 50. That'll be like a <laughs> the tap of party. <laughs> There's a party in my tummy. So, so yummy. yummy. So yummy. It's a keto party. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Okay. So what and else so we got on here? Anything? I started um, on December 1st, 2018 at 180.2. And I would, had experienced just a few ounces down, a few ounces up, a few ounces down. Well, you're closer um, to your weight, too. So. so I went back to tracking. Yay, thank you. Everybody, it worked. We all got into track again. Um, I'm still not eating... The full amount but I'm eating until I'm full um, so but I'm getting close I'm much closer than I was yeah. um, I think I upped my fats a little bit um, so I think that's helping it's shown the difference yeah and um, I caught her I caught her in the morning before she was off to uh, the, the both jobs that she does I'm like hey real quick in the kitchen do a video and then yes I said just so what you eat in a day because you take it all with you and you're on the go and you're so busy yeah um, you know what better example is that to say? And hey, it really look. is. It makes a huge difference. Um, this week, my schedule has been a little bit reversed. So I'm not so rushed this morning because I don't have to be to Costco until one o'clock. Um, but then I work Camus in the evening. So this week has been a little bit different. Um, okay, so you're like, what, one to six and then seven yeah, to midnight or something? One or? to six at Costco and then 645 to 1115 at Camus. So I've got to be disciplined. I've got to have my planned, planned prep, ready. prep ready to go because otherwise I can yeah. guarantee you I'd be pulling through course. somewhere. Absolutely. Starving. You know, just because I'll say, oh, I didn't have time to do that, so I'll just go ahead and eat. Um, so I so did the important. meal prep. It is very important and it does work. Um, I have a, a nice black thermal bag that um, my mom bought me and I use that to take my water. So I have at least two things of water in there. I have all my two meals. So I'm eating outside of the house two meals a day plus snacks. Um, plus snacks so and it's all in that lovely bag that I carry uh, so we're, it's working very well so last week I weighed in at 138 even and I've been hovering right around there for for a little bit and this morning I weighed at 136.6 so, so maybe tracking's helping again yeah yeah Greg and Stacy always talk about tracking too on Casey Keto <laughs> Yes. Yeah, it's kind of like that whole thing. We have trouble with Stacy's. For some reason, <laughs> Stacy's don't like to track. I don't know what it is. And they love chocolate. I don't St know. Absolutely. Stacy, I don't know what you're saying. I'm a Gemini, so I've got two sides of me. So part of me says, yeah, track, track, track. And the other part says, I don't need to track. See, I'm lucky. I'm married to both of them. Aw. I love you. 
<laughs> so that's um, just about a pound and four ounces down. Uh, okay. So it's definitely helping. And my overall, I'm down 43.6 pounds since December 1st, 2018. So going very well. Yes. One of the other things that we did You're killing it. Um, is I start taking extra strength hair, skin, and nails. Biotin, I think, is, Biotin, yeah. is the base of what it you're is. taking. It is. I have contacts on today. And there are there are quite a few vitamins in this as well. Now, I have to so say... So it's kind of like a multivitamin plus some hair, skin, and nail extras. They are the, the absolute cutest thing. cutest They look like pills. little mini Easter eggs. They do. I'm going to put... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to zap a picture in there with those love... in your hand because they are adorable. And they actually have... It feels like they have... A little bit of a strawberry taste. Hmm. I know it sounds silly. Hmm. I don't think I need hair, skin, and nail treatments, but he's but jealous. Stixie's always cracking a nail, and you know, of course, the girls always want their hair out. My of hair's course. I don't even have we hair. I just shake my head. Shiny hair. Yeah. So <laughs> so she picked some of the. Where is that Costco? Yeah, I got this at Costco. It's yeah, Nature's Bounty um, Extra Strength Hair, Skin, and Nails. Um, so we did, we did get this. I've been taking this for about a week now. And it gives you um, some vitamins too. I mean, you're looking yeah, at, it's got some you extra know, vitamins. vitamin A, C, D, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, folic acid, vitamin B12, biotin, uh, pan, panathonic acid, iron, zinc, selenium, magnesium, argan oil, PABA, which is para amoebo benzic acid. Uh, chlorine bitrate, uh, alpha lipotic acid, a lot. horsetail, um, hydrogelized collagen, good for your skin, I guess. You need um, to get that, you know, all the, the loose sodium skin sucked back in. Hyaluronate. But anyway, it's supposed to be for your uh, extra strength for your hair, skin, and nails. So you're going to give this a try for a while. You've been taking yeah. it about a week now? I've taken it, been taking it about a week. We'll see if it um, helps your hair or your skin or your nails. I've been, you know, <laughs> certainly hoping my nails, um, I usually have pretty strong nails anyway. Um, I've been doing a lot with my fingers at work, um, at Costco, worked in the bakery. An update, if anybody saw my worst day of keto <laughs> ever, I have an update. So you I lived. went to work. I did. I lived. And I didn't cheat on that chocolate as much as I wanted to. Um, but I get back to work the other day, and the bakery manager says, Hey, Stace, we really appreciate you helping us back in the bakery. I said, Okay, great. I said, Yeah, it was fun. He says, Are you part-time or full-time? And I said, Well, I'm part-time. He goes, Great. We plan on utilizing you in the bakery around all the holidays. <laughs> so you get to go make those wonderful <laughs> cherry pies and everything so else. I was like, okay. Um, and then he says, by the way, do you know how to decorate cakes? I heard you, you caught on pretty well. And I was like, no. He goes, do you want to learn? So, of course, my answer is yes, because the more you know, the more you grow. That might be fun. Um, might be kind of fun. But yeah. I was like, oh, my gosh, that's really going to be a test of <laughs> my willpower <laughs> so I have to like get that hypnosis stuff where it's like <laughs> cakes are bad cakes are bad you don't like cake the taste of cake will make you sick or something you know just to get you uh, off track for that yeah so although then the other part of me says if I'm if that's all I'm doing it's all I'm smelling maybe I might get sick of the smell no 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 no, so. no 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 that's like cooking bacon I'm gonna get sick of bacon because the smell no Right. Yeah, I need to make bacon today. I yeah, so had... I'll give you an update on that. We got Mother's Day coming up and Father's Day coming oh, up right. and Lots grad season cakes. coming up. I was like, we. So yeah, they asked. Um, they they were apparently impressed with how quick I caught on and everything and uh, my worth ethic. So um, your worth ethic. Ethic. Your work ethic. 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 It wasn't the word ethic. You said worth ethic. Work. Work ethic. Okay. Work anyway. Ethic. Yeah, I'm a little bit stressed this week, to be honest with you. So we got all of our numbers on our way in, right? I did stick to my keto plan. I did stick to my tracking. I track everything. Even if it's a weight of something, I track it. Um, I'm almost always within numbers. I've very rarely, like once in two weeks, I've gone over on one or two things, but I'm usually pretty darn close, and I try and plan that out a little bit. If I see that I'm low in fats, I'll put a little carry carry gold into something or do something with a little MCT oil into my coffee or something to kind of try and bring it into balance because yeah. I am trying to stick with that. Um, I did do one day of fasting. I got in, uh, I think 26 hours was my total fast yeah. for that day. And I did get in one day of 
an OMAD, where it's just one meal, which was your fathead pizza, which was fantastic. She makes some amazing pizzas. So I had one day where I had the OMAD, one day where I fasted, okay. and uh, it was a crazy week. I will be quite honest, I've been working hard on my sleep. I was getting my average from, my average was two to four hours a night previously, and it has been for a long time, even way before keto. Yeah. Um, I was working so hard on it these last few weeks. I got my average in Fitbit up above six hours, which is for me almost Huge. double, if not a little more than double. I was feeling really confident. I was feeling really good. I got hit with a whammy earlier in the week. I mean, seriously, a whammy. I'm 51, and my mom has passed. My dad has passed, or at least the dad I knew, because my sister and I did a DNA test. And it turns out that my sister and I were not born to the same parents. Well, obviously, we were born to the same mother, but our fathers are different. Um, we had a little bit of help from some really wonderful, amazing DNA specialists who uh, investigated the DNA tree of my sister and I. And it um, turns out that my dad, who I'm actually named after, um, is not my dad. So... <laughs> It's been a crazy week. Uh, <laughs> every time I look at her, I get, I get emotional. Yeah, so uh, they did identify my dad. He is passed, although I have some other half-siblings out there that i um still a little tentative on reaching out to. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I'm still a little bewildered by all of this. Um, it makes a lot more sense now, though, because... In my DNA tree, because I did it first last year, none of my matches were coming up to my what I knew from my genealogy tree of my father and the things right. that were related to my father. Gosh, I wasn't finding anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know, I was a little confused. And the people I were find, the people I was finding, you know, did find, um, were not anybody that anybody knew. Right. I mean, I was asking like my uncles and aunts and. And cousins and stuff. I'm like, who are these people? And they're like, I don't know. And the, and the and sister the, has had the test for almost a year. Well, she just time. finally did it. Yeah. Well, she just finally did it when she came up to visit us um, a yep. few weeks ago. And um, and they just processed it. So I think it was Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. I got probably. I think it was Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. So this week was a whammy week. Um, I did. I'll be honest. My sleep has sucked. I've barely gotten any sleep. Um, I've been trying to sort all this out, and it took a few days for the DNA stuff to get all rectified and explain the history for both of us. And uh, quickly, they were able to identify that Jerry was his daughter. My sister's name is Jerry. Jerry so it sounds like a guy's name, but yeah. And then, uh, and then I was I, I was tied to a different family and a different father, and they did identify that person who was also passed. Um, now the. One of the things that when we found this out, um, who he thought was his father um, is passed. Yes. So we thought there's a possibility that his biological dad could be alive. And unfortunately, oh, yeah, yeah. No, he is passed as he well. He passed in a car accident, but he did gain a half brother, and now yeah, he has and... a total of three half sisters. <laughs> yeah, that's really weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm working on it. It's a it's a, a rat's nest of things that I'm trying to sort through. And uh, obviously, I want to reach out to the new half siblings that I have to see how welcoming they are to. Um, I don't even know. I just want to know more about the story. I want to know more about the biological father. I would love for them to take a DNA test so that we can fully confirm. confirm. However, the DNA specialists were telling me that they are really 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 confident so they came back it was like a little angel she came back with the information she started emailing the information almost immediately i would say probably quick. within, two within hours, like two, two hours. hours um and it kind of consumed the day um Proof, yeah and nights Days. and you know <laughs> talking to a sister and yeah then you start talking to the rest of your family you know your your living aunts and uncles and cousins and you're like, hey, you know, what do you know about this person? And what do you know about this situation? It's been a wild ride. So so now I'm uh, reaching out to that half-sibling brother and sister that I have from that biological father. I have no idea how they're going to take it. I have no idea, good, bad, or otherwise. I guess we'll see.
<laughs> so, so the stress of that, the craziness of that, the non-sleeping, which is my own fault, but I've been trying to make myself. I literally took a sleeping pill yesterday because I had gone for two days without sleep. Um, and it helped. I got I got probably about six hours last night. Would have gotten a little more, but the power went out. <laughs> Our power um, went out. I wear a CPAP, <laughs> and it's you know electronic, and it pushes air through your <laughs> through your mask. And I wake up, I'm like, <sighs> <laughs> you know. So that rarely ever happens. And I woke up because out. I was as much as I'm she freezing during the day. I was like, it's hot. I'm like, you turned the fan off. He says I didn't. Yeah, we sleep with the ceiling fan going, and she says something like, you turned the fan off. So no, I didn't. When we went to bed, the fan was on. Then we realized the power. power He's out. like, my CPAP's not working. I'm like, oh, the power's out. So yeah. So the one morning where you work late and we could sleep in, we got woke up by power outage, CPAP going off, and the fan being off. <laughs> That's okay because that means we can make our video early Absolutely. and get our day going. And uh, we got all kinds of projects. I we finished our taxes. My, my Yay. Yay! Yeah, taxes are done. Our taxes uh, are late, gosh. but we filed an extension. And, you know, we have a couple small businesses. Plus, we had my mom passing during the year 2018. We had a lot of things that we our normally daughter's don't. in college now. And yeah, we had a lot of things we normally don't mix into that tax packet that we had to put into the tax packet this year. Yeah. And, it, and it was hard to gather up all the forms and to get everybody to send us forms that we didn't get. And, and then you had some job changes in 2018 where you lost a job, you got another job, then you got another job. And uh, yeah, so it's been a very complicated year for our taxes. But it's done. Yes, now yeah, we just have to mail goodness. it out. That's awesome. And I got all the keto stuff done for our 1,000 subscriber yeah. giveaway. I put everything into flat rate boxes. I sent one off to Melanie, and she's the princess ninja on keto. And I sent one off to Julie, who is the fasting pharmacist. Um, they both got their boxes, I believe, yesterday yeah. or today. I think it showed delivery yesterday, yesterday for both. Yeah. So um, hopefully they'll see those. And I made them both a custom shirt. I said, hey, what would you like on a shirt? And I kind of jumped into Photoshop, made up what they had asked, sent them a picture and said, does this look good? And, uh, you know, they both approved that. That's what they wanted. Yep. With Julia, she, with Ju I say Julia because it's my daughter. With Julie's, <laughs> she wanted certain things much larger than I expected and, I, and I'm sending her like Photoshop images I'm like is this right because I'm feeling like I'm doing this too big and she's like no that's right that's perfect so she got what she asked for and she saw the picture so it's really big it's the, probably the largest shirt I've ever made so hopefully she'll wear it in a future video not largest size wise largest I told vinyl her, wise no yeah it's just a regular <laughs> old shirt just I think she's a larger and extra large but uh no the vinyl that covers on the yeah. shirt that I pressed both sides and a lot of vinyl. So, um, and that's fine. It's just that I felt that I was making it too large, too bold. He felt but like I, he was making enough of a shirt for him to go on me. Yes. Yeah. Something like that. But <laughs> hopefully she'll wear it or she'll do an unboxing and she'll open her keto box that we sent with all kinds of love and extras in it. And uh, yeah, it's same with Melly. You know, we'll see where she's at and she's always doing videos. She's always doing an update or yeah. something too. So, so ladies, we hope you enjoy your box yeah. and all the goodies and uh, the Lots extra bonus of, of the t-shirts. So Yeah, and the t-shirts was just something I decided to do for fun since I make shirts all the time anyway. So He hasn't made mine yet. No, I do have to make a bonsai keto. <laughs> and I want to make a wall um, applique for the behind us on vinyl. Although, like I said, this week has absolutely been crazy um, I, I for think, Bill. A little bit yeah. on mine, but I won't get into that at this point because I don't have details. Um, yeah. Yeah, so. we've had a really whopper of a week. We've had some medical stuff going on with your with side of the family. And uh, we've had this DNA stuff with me, which is insane. Um, <clears throat> boy. So, my plan earlier in the week and last week's update was, yes, Stacey, I'll make you a shirt. Yes, Stacey, I'll make a wall decal for uh, Bonsai Keto. And, um, you know, how life is. Threw some curveballs at us. So, but we stayed keto strong. You know, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not really feeling like I'm having trouble sticking to keto. Or, no. or sticking to my macros or even sticking to tracking because I track every day. Yeah. I mean, when I sit down with a cup of coffee, the first thing I'm doing is punching in what I had in the coffee. MCT oil. A little bit of, I've been using a little bit of a shaky French vanilla creamer that I'm not proud of, but it gives me some flavor and it keeps me from going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to coffee, mate, and you know, all the other things I used to have. And, yeah. And I'm using monk fruit drops. I love them. I do like them. It's the only one I found. I tried so many sweeteners. Oh my gosh. I tried probably at least a half dozen different mixes and 
this was my favorite monk fruit drops. <laughs> so, um, so here we are. We are 91.8 pounds down in week 21 of our keto journey. Yes. We have not had a cheat day. We have not had a, uh, we've had some crazy weeks. Uh, we've had some really disturbing news come through recently in a, sure. more than one way. Um, but it hasn't really shaken us in terms of the lifestyle food and the and foods and the diet. Go to comfort foods and. Yeah. So uh, hopefully that maybe inspires somebody or gives you a little inspiration to, you know, say, wow, okay, I've had a crappy done. week, but I can do it. Planning and preparation on the foods. Stacy's fantastic. And she makes, when she makes something, she makes a little extra too. So, it's, so it'll be in the fridge if she makes those little flatbread oh. um, pita things, which are kind of like a, it's like a pita. Yeah. Like, almost like I call a taco it my, show. my Stacy bread. But you can also put lunch meat in it and wrap it up and eat it like a sandwich. That's so yummy. she'll make like six or eight. And she'll put two or three in the fridge for me, too. And then I'll use those for lunch meats okay. and stuff. They're really nice. I love you. Yeah. And they're good for a taco, too. Yeah. Oh, Very I good for a taco. And I've uh, done that same recipe with a couple different cheeses. Um, and, and I uh, think they're good with all of them. Yeah. And actually, yesterday we tried, when I made a fat head ish pizza, I used the... The base of that The base pita. of that pita, um, and I added... There was something we were missing, almond flour or something. I didn't have almond fat. flour to, to do the... Fat head dough? The true fat head dough, because I so need to make a keto haul. So she improvised and used the, the shells that. that we make, which is just eggs and cheese, right? Yes. No flowers. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Yeah, I know. You missed it. I said I need to make a keto haul. A keto hot. Oh, uh, see, <laughs> I told you he missed it. I got a new little toy too. I got. Uh, I sold a guitar. I sold a couple little things, and I took the money from that, and I um, and I made a big batch of shirts. I made a lot of shirts. This one particular batch, and I got this really cool little. I should have brought it down with me. It's it's called the Osmo Pocket, and it's so um, do a video. Yeah, so it's a little video, a little thing that you hold with your hand, and you can. Use it anywhere out in front of you or turn it around at you and do a video. But it's a gimbal. So it actually is a nice smooth motion and it's perfect for He's been tracking me hauls. every time I walk through the room. He's yes, like, I'm tracking like, I'm you. tracking, you. tracking you. you. So uh, we are going to, I'm going to see if I can't talk her into a haul with the Osmo Pocket. We need quite a now bit. it is small and it is pretty unobtrusive yeah. so if you know if i hold it out like this and you're talking and because i don't want to be on the video you know how it says video. i'll yeah, hold, I'll, it, I'll hold on it on you yeah <laughs> but uh no maybe we'll do a little bit of a haul I'm, I'm really excited to play with that he is yeah so we're gonna start messing with it i had to get a new sd card for it because the card i have was not fast enough imagine that <clears throat> but more electronics more electronics more gadgets <laughs> that's me gadget man he is all right guys well thank you for hanging out with us um, this has been truly probably the weirdest week of keto for us. Uh, it's the weirdest week of my life of 2019 for sure. Um, and the news that Stacy's had recently here medically for her mother was not good as well. So um, I don't know, man. There's just a lot going on. But we are sticking with the keto. It's part of our life now. And, uh, you know. <laughs> we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. Thank you again for hanging out with us. And uh, if you want to hear more about uh, the, the DNA stuff and stuff, I, I can certainly share more as I know more. Um, I don't even know if that pertains or anybody cares about that stuff. It's crazy for me, though. It's just our life. It's crazy. Yeah. So what I knew for 51 years is not true. And my sister I thought was a full sister is not a full sister. And I have a lot of other siblings that I don't know that I'd like to know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let them cry. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's just crazy. So life's like that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks we'll again. Ya. We'll see you. Bye. Bye. Come on now. You were supposed to. I... <laughs> you were supposed to like give me a nice thumbnail picture uh, after we're done with our video. Now you're sitting here crying, <laughs> and then I'm not gonna be able to get a thumbnail video <laughs> picture. Come on now. You're gonna look all sad. That's not nice. It's not nice. It's not nice. I love it. So, I was thinking, if we sit here and we pose, we can get a thumbnail picture. We'll get that away. What are we going to eat? I'm hungry.